when you begin the actual examination of uh, uh, suspect computers um, and mobile devices, examining the images of uh, uh, hard drives and portable media uh, in your laboratory, uh, you really have to concentrate on accounting for all drive space, right? You just don't want to uh, uh, let uh, some unused space on the drive somewhere uh, to, to, to leave it unnoticed because that could be still used by the suspect and uh, could be hiding some information uh, in those unused spaces. Uh, concerning the time zone, of course, if you misread the time zone, if you neglect the information about the time zone of uh, um, computer being uh, being um, operated in, uh, it will have some really bad impact on your reporting because uh, you may be uh, misinterpreting uh, the actual timestamps, which can have a difference in certain uh, because of the time zone differences, and so that would create really uh, undesirable, uh, potentially even uh, damaging your reputation uh, consequences uh, if you if you uh, let the t wrong time zone information slip into your reporting. Uh, of course, uh, compound time uh, files are uh, such files as zip files or encrypted files that contain uh, multiple items within themselves. Other types of compound files could be Windows registry files that contain hierarchical structure of keys and values storing information about the system configuration and application settings uh, currently used by the system. So of course you want to give attention to these types of files. Uh, signature analysis, remember MIME type analysis in our practical exercises. So you just want to make sure that you identify every file and find out whether it's a picture or a printable PDF file or a, a plain text file or executable file, regardless to its name and the file extension. Uh, hash analysis, of course, uh, is, was part of the other other uh, big part of our uh, practical exercises already, uh, where we just want to consider computing hash uh, fingerprints for uh, notable items and also known items such as components of the operating system, so that we can safely exclude uh, a huge amount of files on the system from our investigation to simplify uh, the search process. Uh, indexing the case, um, for instance, in autopsy and similar forensic uh, uh, software is done automatically. Uh, basically, index means that uh, all printable words uh, will be available uh, for keyword searches. Uh, we will be discussing this in the future. And uh, broad searches just mean that you don't want to avoid uh, or, you know, or, or go unnoticed. Um, with uh, some type of evidence uh, that may be present on the system. Of course, uh, you need to be familiar with the case brief. And the more you know about the suspect, the easier for you would be to, uh, to, to begin your searches. Um, and uh, also personal information uh, such as um, uh, usernames uh, or handles um, that they use in uh, uh, potentially social media, their email names, uh, other types of identification uh, could generate great uh, keyword uh, keyword lists for your searches. So you want to be able to ind identify um, if the user is doing any kind of bad stuff, um, and um, you need to check uh, uh, the recent files, uh, of course, uh, deleted files um, on the system, uh, temporary internet files, and other types of location that would that would um, be giving you information, some kind of personal connection between this uh, this computer and the habits of your suspect. And uh, just in general, uh, would you would want to develop some kind of time, timeline analysis in terms of what is the typical operation of this computer, when it's, uh, how it's uh, used uh, in the cycle of the day or week and so forth. Um, and uh, you then uh, search these areas that you identify uh, for further evidence. And of course, uh, it's possible that the uh, computer will have a set of software uh, that would uh, allow uh, an individual to hide or alter the evidence or simply remove it from the system, such as erase or time stomp, which 
uh, which uh, scrambles the fi um, uh, file uh, timestamps uh, on the system, PGP encryption, TrueCrypt uh, encryption, and other encryption software. So you just want to examine the list of programs present uh, on the system to be able to uh, realize uh, what else you have to be concerned when you're doing uh, your searches on that system.